Magnetic motion is inspired by the magnetic fields and what they can do. I sort of try to visualize the invisible. Um, so in one way I try to um, visualize the very scientific side of magnetic motion. I visited CERN, which is of course the um, research center where they, uh, where they use magnetic fields to, um, to do their research for. So you have the very structural garments um, where you can almost see the construction of the making. The creation of something is so much more valuable to me than the end product. So I really tried in this collection to show people the process of my creation. With the shoes you can really see how they have been grown. Like we put a magnet under the shoe and the structure is literally grown. Um, so there's not really a human hand deciding the structure. On the other hand, there are, there are very constructual pieces um, that I collaborated with with an architect, Peter Beasley. It's such an interesting play that we have in talking back and forth because we, we speak about possibility fields and we think about layers around our bodies and some of those can be harsh, even painful, reaching, clawing, and then we wear them and we're intimate, and we're soft, and it turns into this lovely caress. I like to play with touch always. Like, touch is for me very important, and when I fall in love with a garment, it's not only the look. It's also the touch. So touch and movement are sometimes even more upfront in the design process than the final look. Two-dimensionality is there, but it is soft at the same time. And I think that's a big challenge always, because it's easy to make an armor, but it's really nice when you can work with a three-dimensional um, structure that is still very soft on the body. So I really try to do that. The tool is also another visualization of the gravity and the magnetic force that is always guiding us in every, in every step that we make. So I think uh, the draping was a very big part of the, um, of the making process, so I also tried to show the draping. The technique is fantastic. What I particularly liked was this unusual technique, but classic shapes. They're feminine, extremely feminine, and very fitted, beautifully fitted, grateful. We see the way the women 
moved. I mean, it's comfortable. These are acrylic thermoformed spikes that are, that are really quite violent if you got very close to them, and yet they're clothed with this layer of gentlest silicon that makes it really lovely to touch as well. I know, I feel very honored. I think this is like a new piece of technology. It's like a fairy tale dress, you know? The crystal dress that you just saw on Ikeline is a 3D printed uh, dress. And I'm really happy with that because I've been dreaming for years to 3D print transparent uh, materials and it never worked. And finally it worked. There's a, a tremendous amount of craft and absolutely practical technique in this work. I mean, we play with materials, we push and pull. At the end of the day, though, we start to think about dreaming, and we start to think about reaching, and all of that craft starts to be let go.